watch is roll There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, I used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn, and it always blesses my heart whenever you spend this half hour with me because I pray and I ask God what He would have me to share with you. And a couple weeks ago, He said, I want you to start talking about end time events because I believe we're living in the last days. As a matter of fact, I believe we're living in the last of the last days. I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is getting ready to come for His church. That's right. The Bible tells us specifically that Jesus is going to call for His church to come up, to be caught up in the air with Him. And I always like to use this scripture text here, right here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. You might be familiar with it. It says, For the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with Him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord." Now, that's the holy writ right there. Amen. That tells us that the day is coming when Jesus is going to catch his church up. And I am rapture ready. How about you? I'm going to invite you into the, uh, the sanctuary here at the Good News Fellowship Church in just a few moments where I continue talking about this subject, the rapture of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. So get on the phone, call a friend or neighbor so you can be a blessing to them as well. But first of all, I want to share what I call a rapture song. It's a song entitled, He's Coming Back. Now I'm gonna go, go back a few years on this song right here. I was about uh, probably 100 pounds lighter <laughs> when I sang this song right here a few years back. And, uh, but I want you to get the message of this song. It simply says, He's coming back on a silver cloud of glory. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So I want you to sing along with me as I share this song. Enjoy this teaching segment. And then I'll be back right after that to say a special prayer for you. Stay tuned now. Yeah. 
is returning. Won't be long, it may just be a day. Number four, they are protectors of God's people. The Bible says that he has encamped his angels around about us to keep us in all of our ways. Psalm 91 talks about the angels uh, that protect us uh, and lift us up lest we dash our foot against a stone. Angels are operative in our day right now. Angels are going back and forth from heaven to earth right now. Also, angels were used to, to dispense judgments of God. Now, if this is to be interpreted literally as an angel, then I believe personally, now this is just my opinion, assumptions, Michael will most likely accompany Jesus at the rapture, for he is the only, quote, archangel mentioned in the Bible. If you find another one, you can tell me later. But that's the only one I can find in the Bible that is an archangel, and that is Michael. Hallelujah. Then number three, the scripture says, with the trump of God. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, number one, with the voice of an archangel, number two, and with the trump, King James says trump, New King James says trumpet, trumpet of God. The trumpet can also refer to a shofar in some verses. And that's, of course, a, the ram's horn. They use that as a, as a trumpet or an announcement device. Israel's history uh, shows us that they used trumpets and shofars many, many times as to make announcements. They were also used for other things like a summons to war, to mark the commitments, commencement of an attack, to signal the end of an attack, to proclaim a military victory. So see, this is really ingrained in their history. They were used also to call public attention to other events such as claims to kingship, oath takings, celebrations, and rejoicings. And many of their feasts, they would use these trumpets and shofars. First Corinthians kind of makes it a little bit plainer that this is going to be a literal trumpet because Paul says here, quote, for the trumpet will sound. Again, speaking of the rapture here. He says, for the trumpet will sound. Now, who will blow this trumpet? Well, I believe personally it will probably be an angel. Now, why do I believe that? Well, because we see in the book of Revelation where angels are given trumpets to loose judgment upon the earth. Listen to Revelation 8 and verse 2. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them who were given seven trumpets. So the seven who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. So it will most likely be an angel, and it very well could be Michael, the archangel, who will sound the trumpet. So there again, the shout, the archangel, and then the blast of the trumpet will begin this event that we call the rapture. 
Now, after the shout, after the voice of the archangel, after the trumpet, there's something else that's going to happen. Those believers who have died from the time of Adam to the time of the rapture will receive their resurrection bodies. They will be resurrected. Their bodies will be caught up and resurrected from the grave. Since the fall of man, the law of nature says that everyone must die. Now, you can blame Adam and Eve for that because they're the one that started it all. That is the law of nature. It's what I like to call, it's the law of the sin nature. Amen. God told Adam and Eve, if they eat of that fruit, that they would surely die. Now, they died physically, I mean spiritually first, of course, which means they were separated from God. But it took them a while to die physically, but eventually they died physically. And every person from them, every person born after them has to die. Why? Because of sin. Because of that, that, that sin principle that they brought in to the earth. You know what aging is? Aging is simply that sin principle that's in our flesh. See, scientists can't understand why a person ages because every seven years our cells are all completely new. They regenerate themselves. See, it's, it's not a scientific thing. It's a spiritual thing. Amen? That's why we age. Age is simply tells you that you are dying. That if Jesus tarries, one day you're going to have to die. Whether you live to be 80, 90, 100, whatever, one of these days you're going to have to die. That's what the law of the sin nature says. Hebrews 9, 27 tells us, And it is appointed unto men once to die, but after that the judgment. That's a date that we all have to keep if Jesus tarries. Now, this event of the rapture is going to do something about that. Amen? Those that have died, their bodies will be resurrected from the grave and they will be given a new body, a resurrection body. Now, the Old Testament even mentioned the resurrection of the dead. Listen to Hosea. He prophesied about the resurrection in Hosea 13, 14. He says, I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. Now, how did Hosea know about that? The Spirit of God revealed that to him. Amen? Just like he revealed to the other prophets about the birth of Christ. And the other things that Christ would do, he revealed it to them way back then about the resurrection of the dead. Now, let's look at some others here. God gave Job a glimpse of the future resurrection. Job said this. He said, if a man dies, will he live again? All the days of my struggle, I will wait. Wait for what, Job? What are you going to wait for, Job? until his change comes. Job responds to his own question here by saying he would wait patiently and trust until his change comes into that new resurrection body. Job states an incredible faith in his own resurrection considering the early period of divine revelation in which he lived. Listen to the next statement he made. Quote, for I know that my Redeemer lives and that he shall stand at the latter days upon the earth. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that teaching segment. I'm talking about the rapture of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming back again, just like he said. And I believe it's going to be real soon. Are you ready? Are you what I like to call rapture ready? Well, if you're not, the way to get ready is to give your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
The Bible says that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son and whoever believes in him will not have to perish, but they can have eternal life. All you got to do is put your complete trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done for you at the cross. See, he's did everything that needs to be done for your salvation. You don't have to do anything but believe in what he's done for you. And if you've never done that, I want to invite you to say this simple prayer with me. Why don't you pray with me now? Say, Heavenly Father, that's right, pray with me. Heavenly Father, I trust Jesus as my Savior and my Lord. I believe he died on the cross for the sins of the world and for my sins. I surrender my heart and my life to you, Jesus. And I thank you for paying my sin debt. I thank you for forgiving me and giving me eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Friend, I want you to know it's not about religion. It's not about joining a church. It's not about joining some organization, but it's about accepting Jesus. It's a personal relationship with a living Savior. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer and you meant it in your heart, I want you to know that God breathed his breath of life on the inside of you and you've become a new creature in Christ Jesus. And I want to celebrate. I want to rejoice by sending you this free little gift. It's a little book entitled, Now What? This will help you get started growing in the Lord. Now it's time to grow. I mean, we're just like a tender plant when we're born again. It's time to grow up and produce fruit, the fruit of love and joy and peace. But you got to get started, and you can get started right now by calling for this book. I'll send it to you, no cost, no obligation. Just call me right now at 888-429-2280. That's a toll-free call, 888-429-2280. And if you get a busy signal, please keep calling back because that means we on the line helping someone else. Once again, as for the, this little book entitled Now What? It's got all kind of good little pointers in it about how to study your Bible, how to pray, and uh, what it really means to be saved. So call me right now at 888-429-2280. Once again, 888-429-2280. And I'll be listening for your call. Praise God. Don't forget about our next concert coming up November the 6th. That's right. As most of you know by now, we host a concert right here at Good News Fellowship Church in Tickfall, Louisiana, the first Friday of every month. And our next one, once again, will be November the 6th. I'll be singing. And my special guests will be Randy and Sherry Miller of Cleveland, Tennessee. The start time is 6.30 p.m. So for all of the other details, go to our website at mvmgoodnews.com. And don't forget, we always have some kind of good old country cooking as well. So don't forget to bring your appetite. That's November the 6th. Also, I want to uh, tell you about our special CD offer for October 2020, two music CDs, Good News, or Singing the Good News, rather, and Old Time Feeling, two music CDs for your gift of only $18 or more to the ministry. Everything you send helps us with our airtime and our production costs, and we can continue to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to the nations. So call us right now with your credit card at 888-429-2280. Once again, that's two music CDs for your gift of $18 or more. And uh, that's 888-429-2280. Or you can send a check or money order. And a lot of people still use the snail mail at Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. That's P.O. Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. And be sure when you write, send your prayer requests as well because we love praying for you. We believe that God answers prayers. Now, I always like to say a special thanks to my partners, those of you that are so faithful 
to pray for us every day and to give financially every month. Thank you, thank you, thank you, partners, for being so committed to the kingdom of God and to this ministry. We appreciate you so much, and we pray for you every day for God's grace and mercy and His peace to flow in your life in abundance. And if you're watching today or listening by radio and you hadn't become a Good News Partner yet, please pray about it. We have more partnership information on our website at mvmgoodnews.com. And when you become a partner of this ministry, you receive a special letter from me every month, special product offers, and it is a special thing to be a ministry partner. So if you want to know more about it, check out our website or give us a call. We can send you a free brochure if you would like and pray about becoming a partner and help us to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nations of the world. Now, I always like to say a prayer for those who are seeking the Lord, for those who need healing. And I trust that you will pray with me right now, especially if you have a need in your life. I believe that God can touch you right now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all of my viewers today, Lord, my partners and my friends. Lord, especially those that are sick, I ask that you would heal them, that you would strengthen the weak. Lord, that you would meet every need and grant every request. Let your mighty peace fill every heart and every life. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. I'm going to leave you with a song now, but thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program.
care They taught me how to pray And they taught me how to share I'm much older now And the time keeps passing on But I know I'll live forever And forever in your love And because of Jesus Thank God I'm still standing here today Because of Jesus You know there really is better way because of Jesus things are different than before because of Jesus I'm not the same I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the good news. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the good news. I'm singing the new. I'm singing the good news. Everywhere I go, 